Section 1.5 is about TCP and UDP. TCP or Transmission Control Protocol and UDP User Datagram Protocol are layer 4 protocols in the OSI model. They are used to send data over a network, but they do it in different ways, each suited for different use cases. Let's talk about TCP first. TCP is a connection-oriented protocol. It ensures data is delivered reliably and in order. It also includes features like acknowledgments, retransmissions, and flow control. And it is slower due to extra overhead but guarantees delivery. Let's now compare it with UDP. UDP is a connectionless protocol. It sends data without establishing a session or checking if it was received. There's no guarantees about delivery or order. But it's faster because it uses fewer resources. It's ideal for time-sensitive traffic. TCP and UDP also have different header size and contents. Let's start with TCP headers. They are more complex because TCP provides reliability, ordering, and flow control using these fields. Sequence number, which keeps track of data chunks and their order, and acknowledgement number, which confirms data received. Flags with control bits like start, acknowledge, and finish. Window size with flow control, or how much data can be received at once. There's also checksum, which ensures data integrity and options for additional control. UDP is minimal because it's designed for speed, not reliability. There's length, which is the length of header and data. And checksum, which is optional in IPv4 and ensures data integrity. To sum it up, TCP is more complex. It includes sequence number, acknowledgement number, and more. And UDP is simpler. There's no sequencing, no acknowledgements, no windowing. Let's talk about the difference between their packet behavior. TCP establishes a connection before data is sent. It uses a three-way handshake. First, the client initiates the connection by sending a SYN packet. Then, the server receives a SYN packet and responds with a SYN ACT packet. And last, is the client receives the SYN ACT packet and sends an ACT packet back to the server. TCP also delivers data in correct order and retransmits lost or corrupted packets. And for UDP behavior, there's no connection setup. It just sends. There's no guarantee that packets will arrive or be in order. UDP does not guarantee data sequencing. It's also faster with lower overhead. Another thing to keep in mind is that TCP is stateful and UDP is stateless. TCP maintains the connection state keeps track of session information, and the server remembers the client between packets. It also uses more memory and CPU, but enables reliable sessions. And for UDP, no session information is tracked. Each packet is treated independently. The server doesn't care what it previously received from the client. It also uses less memory and is much faster, but not reliable. So. When do we use TCP versus UDP? We use TCP if we need reliability and completeness over speed. It is used for web browsing. Your browser needs all files to load completely and in order. It's also used for email. Emails must arrive reliably and intact. It is also used for file transfer. Data integrity and order matter during file download or upload. And it's used for applications that require all data and order preserved. We use UDP if we need speed and low latency over accuracy or completeness. UDP is used for voice over IP. Dropping a few packets won't ruin a call, but delays will. It's also used for video streaming. Buffering handles some packet loss, but speed is more important. It's also used for online games. Fast updates are crucial, but missing one isn't as bad as a delay. And it's also used for DNS lookups. Some exam tips for TCP and UDP topics. Q 
Keywords matter. If the question mentions speed, low latency, or real time, it's UDP. If it mentions reliability, order, or retransmission, it's TCP. And you should also know which common protocols uses TCP versus UDP. Protocol that is connectionless. Web browsing, email, and file transfers are examples of Protocol that guarantees data delivery Protocol that is connection-oriented Protocol that may deliver data out of order. Protocol that is faster with low latency and ideal for real-time apps. Protocol that has more overhead but is more reliable. Streaming, online gaming, DNS, are examples of 